Unfortunately, here in South Florida, we don't have a Little Italy neighborhood, but we do have Luca Osteria. Now, this place has some of the most authentic Italian food that you can find in all of South Florida, and they have a celebrity chef inside. So let's go talk to him and see what the food is about. My name is Giorgio Rappicavoli. I'm the chef and owner of Luca Osteria and Eating House in Miami, Florida. I've been cooking professionally for about 20 years now. I started my first job in Coral Gables itself at a restaurant called Chispa at the age of 17. Uh, in about 2012, we opened up Eating House as a pop-up restaurant. We were one of the first pop-up restaurants in Miami, Florida, also in Coral Gables. My dream was always to open a restaurant in Coral Gables. Growing up, uh, Norman Van Aken had his flagship restaurant here in the Gables, so to me, making it meant making it in the Gables. We've been here for about 10 years now. So Luca Osteria is a really fun, youthful, interesting approach to Italian cuisine. Obviously, our roots are centered in classic Italian cooking. It's a bit more of a modern approach. We kind of have a lot of fun when it comes to the food. We have a little bit of creative freedom. But when it comes down to the core basics of what Italian food is, freshness, ingredient driven, really beautiful pastas made fresh every day, that's what you can find here at the restaurant. So walking in here on a Friday night, it's just an absolutely wonderful feeling. The restaurant, it's really bustling, it's small. We have a lot of return guests. And I think that's like the number one thing to see people that have been here nine, 10, 15, 20 times and they just keep coming back to have those like favorite dishes that they love. That's what it's really all about, creating not just a wonderful restaurant, a great dining experience, but really creating an atmosphere where people feel welcome and it really defines hospitality. Okay, so coming to a restaurant like this means we have to try what's on the table, but we can't just dig into this, right? No, no, it's got a, we normally do a little presentation when it comes to this. So under the fresh truffles, we find a little bit of an egg yolk. Okay. So we take it on and we'd like to incorporate that egg yolk and that basically completes the element of the fonduta. And then once we incorporate that egg yolk, that completes the dish, gives it a little bit of richness and a little bit of body. And that's really it. Here. All right. This is really good. Yep, this is it. This is uh, probably our most ordered dish. I, I believe it, I, yeah. can, I can tell. Now we were watching him do this, but this is really magic that just came true on our plates. And again, this is the num one of the number one things ordered. Probably the number one dish, yes. I don't blame the city of Coral Gables or anybody who comes here to order this. This is great. Thank you. Next time you're at Geralda Avenue, make sure you check out this restaurant. And while you're at home or on your computer and you're scrolling on Instagram, give us a follow at Inside SoFlo and myself at Ryan Nelson 23 I left my pasta inside, so I'm going to go get that and I'll see you all next time.